welcome back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. And I'm Tommy. And I'm Gus. And what did we play today? We played Rock, Rock Paper, Paper Wizards! In present uh, We had a trip out to the mall and we went to Barnes & Noble. And the Dungeons & Dragons section had this here. And you guys were playing Rock, Paper, Scissors at lunch. So... I thought it was a cool game to pick up, and it we also out. got We also got something else, which we might do like a special. Yeah, we might do a special on that later, but for now, we're going to talk about this one. Uh, it is a, a Dungeons & Dragons branded game, where instead of rock, paper, scissors... It's rock, paper, wizard. You're <laughs> casting classic D&D &D spells on each other, so you're... The, there's a, in a three-player game, there's a, a spell book of three cards, where three wizards trying to get to the dragon sword first. Yeah, and gain right. as much money as possible. And we're doing things, we're casting spells at each other to try to, you know, make you not get to the dragon's and sword kind, first. And it kind of seems like he's just throwing money at us. Yeah, well, I think there's money falling out of things, so. Uh, the the way the game works is you have this these three face-up cards, and at the beginning of any one turn, you... Whoever the first player is does the rock, paper, and then you say wizard. And, and then the first after you say wizard, the one who has, has the potion, right? Potion. Right? And then you pick one of these hand gestures, and you pick one of the other wizards. Don't do this to a video. The anti-magic field. Um, and then you resolve the effects of that. So you go rock, paper, wizard, and then we say pass wall. Pass wall. Anti-magic field. Anti-magic field, right? <laughs> so it it the, the resolves the effects of each of those things first from the first player, then me, then then clockwise around the table. And if if and if, if yeah, if we would both do pass wall on each other. Right, we'll get to that. Anti-magic search. Yeah. Right, we got a magic search. But magic what it does is the spell that you picked moves your token back and forth. Right, so it might move your token forward and the person you cast it on or backwards. Or it might cause a player to lose or gain gold pieces. It might um, cause somebody to lose or gain gold pieces, or it might just move them back. So there's three kinds of spells. There's movement spells, there's money spells, and there's uh, defensive spells. And they're uh, red, green, and blue colored cards, and they do different things. Uh, in, at the end of the turn, whoever is closest to the dragon's horde gets five five gold. Whoever's in second place gets three gold. And then the map gets partially reset. The spell cards move down one. And for the next phase, you've got three new one new spell and two of the same spells. And sometimes the spells get less powerful as they move down the thing. And what Gus was saying, that if we were to pick each other and we were both to go pass, pass wall, wall. Pass wall. Not pass wall. you do a, a, what they call, it's a surge... So instead of actually the effect on the, on the spell, we take one of these cards, we turn it over, and we replace our spell with that. So they're all classic D&D spells. Meteor Swarm, Polymorph, Anti-Magic Field, Teleportation Circle, Pass Wall, Misty Step. Uh, so if you play a lot of D&D, &D, um, you'll recognize them. And the point of the game is to make these hand gestures here. Dominate person! Right, exactly. You have to keep me a code person. Dominate person, head. right? So you have to point the person and make the hand gesture that's on the card. And you got to say it at the same time. So as you're doing it, there's a lot of there's a lot of yelling. So when you watch the playthrough, that's why there's a lot of yelling. Anti-magic. And then at the after you do your scoring, you partially reset, and anybody that's in either the blue or the or or the gold, it moves up to at least the first middle space. And that's it. You play the 25 gold, or at least that's what uh, that's what I thought the rules said. Uh, it goes pretty fast. I think that game lasted 15 minutes. Uh, it says 30 on the box, but it really takes like 10 or 15. Well, I think it also goes up to like six players. If with so six if there players, was, it probably takes a It might take longer. a little longer. It, it takes take up to like a, to like less than 10 minutes at most. Yeah. yeah with three play with three players. I think, I think we were about 11 minutes. Um, it's it comes with these little standees for your Time wizard. They don't really do anything. Right. Time flies when you're performing magic. And these tokens serve to remind you what color you are. Uh, and that's it. That's the game. Yeah. What'd you think of it? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, like a three cabbages out of ten. Uh, I mean, three cabbages out of three. What'd you like about it? 
It's rock, paper, scissors, but with more. And it's also magic. Same. Yeah. Same, same system. Yeah, I think the D&D part's pretty cool. I'm also giving it a three, by the way. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we go ahead and straight to the score. We haven't done one of these in a while. All right, so three. Three, three cabbages. cabbages out of three. 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 Three cabbages. Dog three out of ten. Three out of three cabbages. I, I give think, it a three. I think, I think I'm going to give it a two. No! Because, My ears. Can you not do that? <laughs> okay. Right? The video, you know? Sorry, they sorry guys. You haven't, they haven't seen you in a while. And you scream out. And you're screaming. <laughs> so, um, sorry, I need it too. It, uh, I think it's a fun distraction game to do in between other games. Or when you just have a few minutes to, to kill. Um, I think that it's, it's very cool. So I do like it. But I think I'm going to give it a two. So we're going to give this, uh, what is that, eight, eight cabbages? That's still a pretty good score. Right? All right. All right. Yeah. Anything before we go? It's a really simple game, and it plays um, really fast. No. All right. I'm ready to. Check you ready to do the outro? Subscribe, like, hit the bell. Leave a comment if you wish. Yeah, Eat plenty of cabbage, not us though. Or, or else I will. Pass. <laughs> There's a camera over there. It's pointing at you. By the way. Not my person. Oh, we're gonna wait for assistant club. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodbye! Right. Goodbye! Out of here as soon as I find it. Yeah. Did we even get Stinkwell? I don't think we got it that game. Goodbye, everybody! Right. Thanks so much. Goodbye. See you next time! <laughs>